Hello all and welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. Thank you for the recent support over on the other video. That giveaway is still live and is live until the end of this week, Sunday the 13th of March. So if you want a chance to win the Ghost Pass NFT, make sure you check out my Twitter, retweet it and sort of follow the instructions over on that. Anyway, let's delve into HBAR today. There's been a bit of a resurgence in the crypto markets for various different reasons. Um, one of the first things I want to look at is the fear and greed index. We are still in extreme fear, um, one point up on yesterday. However, there was some leaked documents by the Biden administration uh, early hours of this morning. As well as that, we're starting to see oil and natural resources and goods pull back from their all time high, signaling that there is less um, worry and de-risking happening within those markets, um, especially as Europe has come out and said, you know, there's enough energy and gas within Europe to survive the, the coming winter, um, which sort of takes away some of that uncertainty around the, the taps effectively being shut off by Russia. It's all about sort of risk and um, information effectively at the moment. Flicking over, as like I said, I will be touching on the news, but a bit of a pump today, nearly 8% up for Bitcoin on a 24 hour period. 5.5% for Ethereum. Um, some other cryptos have done incredibly well today. We can see Luna's up nearly 22%. Ripple or XRP up 5.5%. Um, if I scroll down a little bit further, Hedera is just sort of trading sideways continually, sort of at 16p uh, or 1.5% nearly up on the day. Like I've said before, guys, continuing to average in, you know, on the year to date, we are still down. Um, on the yearly position, we're not doing too badly. Sort of trade tracking at where we were similar to time last year this is a great opportunity to continue averaging into these positions uh, another tweet i wanted to have a quick look at today was one by hbar to a thousand really active over on twitter but just sort of again looking at why the technology of hedera and hbar is just superior to everything else <clears throat> so we can see here a traditional blockchain over on the left where blocks effectively are you know, delayed block times, proof of work typically involves heavy electrical computational requirements, no guaranteed consensus, just an increasing probability, lack of GDPR compliance, is that a feature or a bug, inefficiency in the sense that stale blocks are pruned from the chain, so we can see they're just sort of ejected out of the chain, um, and then different, difficult to scale beyond a thousand transactions per second. On the right hand side, we can see the hash graph, so a consensus algorithm and data structure, it's not a blockchain. Um, so this depicts this quite clearly uses a directed acyclic graph or a dag directed acyclic graph and novel inventions called gossip to gossip and virtual voting hedera the public implementation implementation of hashgraph currently supports 10,000 plus cryptocurrency transactions per second finality within two to five seconds i've said before in previous videos we're actually all nodes currently are averaging around three seconds of finality so bang in the middle effectively or in the lower half of that two to five second range and then formally proven to be uh, abft you can see that on the abt abft proof and that was something that was done by mance and his team um so an absolute first in in that sense flicking over just wanted to cover some news that was released by polygon over on their twitter account now being the active community that we are, I think this has already been dispelled, but they mentioned that this is the first time a NASDAQ listed company is taking such an active role in a major network. Of course, you guys and everyone active in the community has spoken out saying it's a load of nonsense and whether or not the, the person that was doing the marketing over on Polygon is completely uninformed or they're just not aware. However, they are not the first. Hedera has been working with Fortune 10, Fortune 100 and even top five companies such as Google um, it, on a global scale, not just the Nasdaq, globally. Um, so complete and utter nonsense being sent out from the Matic um, Twitter account. I just kind of wanted to cover that as well, just in case anyone was concerned for some reason. They are completely wrong and it's misinformation. The other thing I wanted to touch on today is looking at Stata Labs. I've mentioned them in a previous video. However, they are now partnered with the HBAR Foundation. So as I've mentioned before, the HBAR Foundation effectively gives grants to projects that are developing inside the ecosystem to help sort of expand the Hedera uh, reach. What we will see is more information come out from uh, Stata Labs. However, they have got an active twitter account so you can go check that out at stada underscore hbar they've just released a article over on medium um and i just wanted to point out some interesting points where they talk about staking so 
The vision for building staking Hedera is not only to reward long-term token holders, but also to feed into the long-term vision to decentralize Hedera as a public permissionless network. Reference, I'll check that in a second. Um, staking will also enable and interact with other applications on the network and contribute to opening the doors for new DeFi applications to launch on Hedera. It's something that I've been singing a lot about on this channel recently. As Q2 rolls around, we will start to see not only dApps, not only decentralized exchanges or DEXs, and staking roll around, but it'll be this complete amalgamation of all these platforms will come online in quite a short span of time, I believe. And not only that, once DeFi and other applications do launch, that then opens the doors for things like total value locked metrics. We start seeing money come into the ecosystem and expand further and further. That's where we'll start seeing the adoption come through for Hedera, as well as the price appreciation, and the technology will be notarized formally um, for the masses to see. Let's have a look at this reference. So it's actually a decentralization of consensus by Hedera Hashgraph um, directly, and it's a PDF they put through. Um, one of the interesting things that I wanted to know is how their state of network evolution for permissionless nodes. So they've got three interesting sort of graphs in here. One looks at how the permissioned Hedera council member consensus nodes currently exist. So this is obviously the uh, governing council. They have their own nodes. They're then moving into many permission consensus nodes, so more come online. These are still sort of centralized nodes and known actors within the community. And then they're moving towards these permissionless nodes um, where many, many can come online. That then brings up the idea um, of staking. So if I scroll right to the bottom, staking and proxy staking of HBARs. Proxy staking on the Hedera network will allow millions of account holders to stake HBARs to directly participate in, a validate, in validating a transaction and reaching consensus, i.e. you guys stake to help support the network. If it is not running a node on the network, even if it is not running a node on the network, nodes will receive rewards for both node operation and staking HBARs, while proxy stakers receive rewards for choosing reliable network nodes to which they stake their HBARs. Once proxy staking is available, anyone holding HBARs can stake them to a Hedera node. It's anticipated that the ecosystem of wallets, exchanges, and custody providers, as well as other applications, will support the ability to proxy stake HBARs. I think this is the key, and it will be via proxy staking. So flicking over to Kepler, this is on the um, Cosmos hub for Atom. Um, I'm just doing this for illustrative purposes, but I believe this is how it's going to function for Hedera. I may be completely wrong, this is speculative, but this is kind of how proxy staking works you have an active validator so if we look here binance is the validator running this node on atom and effectively you've got a commission fee so if i stake to this particular node which binance governs i will lose two and a half percent of my staking rewards to support binance in running the node um but then i obviously receive the average reward for the network which i think is somewhere around 15 percent at the moment um, but you can see some of the different nodes have higher percentages of commission and they offer different features through proxy staking via them. I believe this is what we're going to see happen on Hedera, I think. Um, anyway, as, I've, as I mentioned, I believe staking is literally right around the corner and we should all be very, very excited as it brings a ton of opportunity to Hedera. One of the last things I wanted to talk about is why the crypto markets at the moment are sort of cycling upwards. Um, so Bitcoin and Ethereum mainly. So we can see this headline here, the Bitcoin price soars above 41K on Biden's crypto administrative order leak. So basically over on the um, administration website, something got leaked this morning, which was then removed. We can see here the document read, President Biden's historic executive order calls for a coordinated and comprehensive approach to digital asset policy. This approach will support re responsible innovation that could result in substantial benefits for the nation, consumers and businesses. In addition, the Treasury will be partnering with other agencies to compile a report on the future of the payment systems and money in general. This text was received clearly very well by the market, as we've seen by Bitcoin's price. This is absolutely fantastic news and goes hand in hand with what I've been speaking about with institutional financial policymakers allowing those institutions to invest into crypto. We can clearly see here that US policymakers on the government side are exploring how cryptocurrencies will incorporate and be integrated into standard practice for businesses, nations, governments, and consumers. So it, it clearly shows that the US government is paying a close eye on crypto and they do not want to stifle um, However, they want to kind of embrace cryptocurrency and the ben very beneficial technologies that it brings along with it. Anyway, guys, 
slightly shorter video today i hope you really enjoyed this one as i mentioned before follow me on twitter there'll be some more infographics coming through soon uh, drop a like on this video and leave a comment if you've got something to say i'm incredibly bullish for the next couple of months on Hedera and I will be releasing as much information as I can as soon as it becomes available to me. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Cheers all.